Hey, welcome back once again to Nickers Outdoors. I'm David. You saw in our last video, I guess it was, we had the dam redone. Oh, look what we caught in our lake already. Huh, imagine that, people. But, cameo from the golden retriever. And what we are doing today, you saw from our last video, we had uh, Adam come out with his uh, cat 960 something, I believe it was, front end loader, big heavy uh, machinery to do real man's work, I guess you could say. But uh, he reshaped our dam where we had bad erosion problems on it. I mean, we had severe erosion problems on it. And so what we're out here today to do is put out I've got uh, in the back of the truck here, oh, about 100 pounds of Kentucky 31 fescue we're going to put out. And then I've also got a little bit of, uh, I got some cereal rye left over from last fall's planting. And I've got, uh, gosh, I don't know what else. But we're going to spread all that out here on the dam and try and control some of this erosion this winter. And I've also got another 100 pounds of Eagle Seeds winter wheat that we're going to go back in and put another layer around. Not necessarily where we put the Kentucky 31 and everything out because too much seed is just as bad as too little. Because the dogs love the lake. I can't wait to get it stocked. Maybe some fish will go nibble on them so they'll quit swimming in the lake quite so much and dragging it into the house. But let's get started. I'm just going to load this up. And since the, uh, since the bank here is uh, a little steep. Oh, there you go, Daisy. She did a good rundown for you. Then uh, I'm just going to hand spread this, hand broadcast this with... Uh, a spreader and we will probably go around and do where you see over here just with a hand spreader and if I've got any of this seed left we'll do the same thing especially up in this area up here where we had some fairly bad erosion and uh, then I'm going to put the the other hundred pounds of winter wheat out where they drove the dump trucks in. We had 20-25 loads of, of uh, topsoil brought in that he spread on this dam after he reshaped it. So that's what we'll do and then tomorrow we'll shoot another video. I'm going to hook up a uh, pump because honestly we haven't had any rain here in a month. I mean it, there's been nothing. So the morning dew is the only thing that this has had. And so it's got to be irrigated if it's going to grow, if it's going to germinate. And so that's the plan for tomorrow morning. So I may sound a little strange. I'm, I'm one day post-COVID. It's my turn in the barrel. I hadn't had it in a couple of three years. But buddy, it got me good this time. What are these dogs after? What are you after? Dogs and lakes. I mean, they just go together, don't they? But anyway, let's get busy here, and uh, I'll shut my trap, and we're just going to do some seed spreading. The easiest way to do this is to take an old five gallon bucket and cut the bottom out of it and set that down on top of your broadcast spreader. I haven't done that yet, but I probably need to. That way, the bucket holds your spreader bag open. And when you're done, you just lift it straight out.
I'm telling you, that COVID took a lot more out of me than I thought. Whoo! Let's take a break, shall we? Well, I apologize for the old man break, but that gum. It took a lot out of me that I wasn't expecting it to take out. Um, so the only thing we've got left to do is from the top of the dam down here, uh, you know, to the right hand side of the of the drainage system. And we've already got down to about this line. So it should be able to go straight down, maybe up just a little bit, cover the rest of this on the way out. And then if we've got any grass seed left over, we'll start working with the Kentucky 31 right over here on this section. And then the rest of the cereal rye and the winter wheat we'll put out over on the other side of the lake. But I'm telling you, that may have to wait until tomorrow. And we'll also bring the uh, new water pump out that we got. And I'll give you some opinions of that after we use it and see how it does but let's get busy and you can see we are putting this out rather heavily mainly because it's uh you know the second half of october and i would like as much of this to germinate as i can because I don't know how well it's going to do after the cold sets in. And I sure don't want to have to write another check like I had to write the other day to get this erosion issue fixed. First day you're coming over COVID? Don't do this. It is not a smart move. So, we're going to finish this up tomorrow. That's it for now. It niggas outdoors. See you next time. Bye.